Was there a moment when you, I wondered, do I really want to say, do you want me to say this? Not really, some of the jutsus are kind of weird. And you know, when I was singing that froggy song and talking to the giant toads. Can you hear the froggy song? Yes, I hear the froggy song. Ribbity, 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 ribbity. Yeah, I was like, what's happening? Yeah, but that was about it, yeah. There's always weird moments in the show. There are a lot. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Shining Spotlight. And today I have a very special interview. It's gonna be a very quick one though. And it's a Yomacon exclusive actually. Um, I'm here with Miley Flanagan today. Man, I'm telling you like, if those of you who follow my game on Cloud9 days, you know that I'm a massive Naruto fan. So <laughs> it's a pleasure being here today with you. Thanks, it's great to be here. Now, In Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just wanted to find out from you with Naruto, of course, being done, and then of course with you know Baruto, um, you know, being a series. How do you feel now as far as Naruto being on a different status now, and with with um, now him not being technically the title character anymore? Um, well, first of all, it's always better to be the tech, the title character. Uh, so you know because you get to do more stuff, right? So that's great. Um, and I just don't do it as much, which is too bad because I like I like doing it. I like recording Naruto and being Naruto. And um, so it's it's different because I might not be in 10 episodes in a row, you know? And then I'll have like two lines in an episode, so yeah. And emotionally it is it's different. Um, I don't know how far it goes because I don't read the manga, so I don't know kind of what his journey's gonna be yet. So um, we'll find out, I'll find out. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a way to do it. I never knew that though, as far as with the manga part. Um, but um, so as far as when you're, um, I guess you could say like, I mean, I know you've been Naruto for years, but yeah. I'm sure sometimes. In, years. <laughs> yes, <laughs> since you know, and that's how I would say most of us got introduced, you know, in the U.S. Uh, to Naruto. It's a gateway drug to Do, anime. Yes, for definitely. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're like ever having to still like kind of re like rehearse anything as far as with Naruto? Do you feel like you have his no. character down? Or? <laughs> no, I mean I, I've done it for so long, and 43 video games, and countless countless conventions. Um, I've done more conventions in the last couple of years because um, my Disney show Lab Rats ended, so I was able to come to conventions more. Mm -hmm. So um, no, no, it's like riding a bike. It's part of you, you know? I see. <laughs> what aspect of Naruto would you say is like you in any way, or do you have any aspects that you share together? Um, well, I like his can-do-it attitude, and uh, he never gives up. He says that all the time. So mm -hmm. um, I, I like that part of, part of him, yeah. Okay, okay. And I think I have that. <laughs> now, with doing like a flagship series like Naruto, of course there's many other roles that you do. I know, mm -hmm. like, and everybody knows you for Naruto, of course. Now, when you guys started on your journey as a voice actor, what are, like, what is your advice to other aspiring voice actors out there? Like, on this segment, we usually like to inspire others and... Well, first of all, I think people should do, just be actors good actors like just doing a funny voice doesn't really work you know um, because you have to have the acting behind it so my first advice is do theater take acting classes that's my first advice and my second advice is um, take improv do improv so you'll learn how to do characters quickly and more characters um, and thirdly you know take a lesson Steve Bloom has a um, he teaches a class online you can look it up um, there are lots of reasons, Tara and, Yuri, Tara and Yuri wrote a book about it, that'll help give you some hints. I want to be a, a voiceactor.com, spells out a lot of steps too. I think Chuck uh, Huber actually does a uh, voice acting class as well, if I'm not mistaken, the voice of um, Android 17. I'm not sure if you've heard of him or you know who I, I'm familiar I, Yeah, I met Chuck, but, yeah. Okay. I, um, I, I, I didn't know that about him though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just met him at conventions and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a nice guy, yeah. Okay. Um, with, with that being said, um, you know, I really appreciate um, having this interview with you. I wish we had more time, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe at some point, you know, we might be able to set something else up. But um, sure. I appreciate, um, you know, you, of course, you know, you come into our neck of the woods in Yomacon. Yeah. Um, I also appreciate Are you from here? Oh, yeah, I'm from here. This is, uh, so Yomacon is actually my first con. Okay. You know, but. Um, we love, I love Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite, like, Detroit food or, like, oh, you know, anything like the that? The food is so good. I mean, Greek Town was great the other night, and um, we went right across the street to a really fancy place, um, and uh, that was great. It's 
it's just delicious food here. Any uh, Coney dog or anything like that you have? I didn't have a Coney dog. The problem is we're going to, I'm going to four, convention, four conventions this month, and that means you eat a lot of food in airports, which means a lot of pizza and a lot of hamburgers, hot dogs. So I was trying to eat a little bit, you know, like salads. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta have a Coney Fish. dog. You have to have a Coney dog. Yeah, so I will one day, don't worry. <laughs> Probably in the airport, because I'm going to the airport. Okay, well, Thank you so much for Thank having you. this interview with us Thank today. You. Um, you know, like I said, have a Coney dog when you have a chance. I will. <laughs> and, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching Shining Spotlight. Is there um, anything in particular that's coming out that you have aside from Naruto that you want anybody to? Yeah, I got a movie coming out at Christmas. It's, um, it's on Amazon. It's all the, on everywhere, all platforms. And it's called Three Bears and the Perfect Gift. And it's a G-rated Christmas movie. Uh, and later on, sometime next year, I guess, is a movie that I'm in called My Babysitter the Superhero. And uh, I play the superhero and the babysitter. It's a kid's movie too. Yeah. I'll make sure to check it out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. you. See you guys later.